Hey guys, how are you? This week, I thought it would be really good to tackle the next project that I think would make a huge difference in our space. And that is the coffee table because so far we do not have a coffee table, meaning that we just end up putting stuff on the ground and that is not the best idea. I have an idea in mind. It should be in theory, in theory, a very simple table that anyone could make, but do things ever go to plan? No, <laughs> but we'll hope for it today, except we'll expect it to not go to plan. Anyway, okay, so this is the current living room, full view. You get to see everything. The number one thing I think that is missing is the coffee table because it's like just gonna pull everything together in my opinion. So I think when that's in there, things will just start to come together and then I'll just finish that chair and do a couple other things and the living room will be like looking decently proper, I think. Knowing me though, that will still take me like five months to finish. But today, we're tackling the coffee table. Home Depot we go. So these are the lengths that we go to. This is like a makeshift design here, not the final design. <laughs> okay, let's clear the hallway. what we picked up here. We got two laminated project panels that are made out of pine and they are 12 inches wide by 60 inches long. 60 inches was the exact length we were looking for. Now laminated panels are essentially individual pieces of wood that have been glued together. And that is a typical method that people use for tabletops in general. So I thought that this would work well. Those are gonna be like the tabletop section and then for the legs of it i got this like 16 inch board which i got cut to size and the dimensions for this were 24 and a half i'm going to assemble it first and then finish it let's get started hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the ocean so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count come on now and take my hand so i just realized that i maybe made a mistake <laughs> with the dimensions that i got the pieces of wood so when i was figuring out the height of the table i just went based off of what the standard height dimensions should be and didn't really consider the fact that like i have styled pretty much everything in the apartment to be a little lower than normal because that was just the style i wanted now the coffee table is definitely too high i guess we're gonna have to cut down the pieces of wood which sucks because we could have just gotten the right height from the beginning but oh well, so let me just show you. We just clamped the two pieces that are the legs together so that we only have to make one cut and that we know that they're the exact same size. So we clamped them on both sides. Now we're gonna mark off 12 inches 
clamp a piece of wood across so that we have a guide and make the cut with the jigsaw. Here is our current setup. So we have the two pieces clamped together and this piece clamped at the line and this is the cut line. So it's just gonna be a perfect straight guide. Looks good, Ashley. Yeah? Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks straight. Right? I think. Close to curtains, brew some herbal tea. I think we made a table. So if we flip it, I don't even think it needs the brackets. Okay, so the table is assembled and it's pretty sturdy. I actually think it could be left like this, but I do just want to see what happens when I add the right angles to see if it adds any further stability. I got these like little right angle fastener things. I know the right angle is supposed to be like one of the strongest engineering shapes. So I feel like this should just add some more stability, but I don't know, we'll see. It's mostly just for learning that I wanna try this. Let's do this. So the table is put together and um, we have the pocket screws and we have those right angle fasteners right here. They're all installed and looking good. And I will say that the right angles definitely did add an additional level of support. I probably could have stopped at the pocket holes. And I think if you don't have a pocket hole jig, the right angles on their own would probably also work. But I'm really pleased with the method that we've done and I think it's super secure. So. The next thing I'm going to do is actually start to finish this, I think, like fin do the finishing touches, the finishing, the finishes. And what I really wanted to do was have this look like charred wood. There is this like Verithane charred wood accelerator product. Here it is. This is it. Let's try. Now it actually says that you're supposed to prepare the wood by sanding it with 100 grit sandpaper. I only have 120, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just using a little block here, a little trick that I realized when I was doing my dining table. Oh, I should probably be wearing a mask. Mm. Stand on the opposite shore Hello, no I reach through mysterious seas My holy hope I look for the things I don't know which I'm hoping is gonna work well. It says to shake. It also says to apply it with a brush or like a bristle brush or a foam brush. I don't know 
why here I like don't have a proper supply of things. So I guess I'm gonna use this and hope for the best. I guess. Maybe I like get rid of some of these little bristles. I'm also just going to test this on the underside of the cable just to make sure that nothing weird happens. Ready? attach these little feet onto the corners, actually just onto the bottom somewhere. currently at with one coat of stain on. I did read that you will often need two coats of stain and I believe that that is the case with this as well. So that's what I'm going to do quickly. I have dinner at my mom's in like an hour and doing the first coat took me quite a bit longer than I thought. Also one thing I want to mention about this is that you're not supposed to wipe off this product. Usually you wipe off wood stains but with this you don't wipe it off. It's definitely not the same as a black wood stain. It definitely has a burnt wood look, which is exactly what I was going for. I was really inspired by seeing people that like make their make houses on their own with their own materials, specifically tiny houses and things like that. There was a time I was like obsessed with those a few years ago. I still love them. But I know one of the methods that's like super cool, super natural, and a great way to finish a smaller structure is to burn the wood. Like you torch the wood and that makes it waterproof. I just love the look of that. So that's kind of what it was inspired by. How did I move this the last time? Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. So I am just taking a little break here, and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about Best to Sleep because they are the sponsor of today's video. Here we are, I have one of their products here. But Vesta Sleep is basically a company that's very, very innovative in the bedding space. They specifically have products that are researched to have a better sleep and a more comfortable experience overall. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about two of their products that I have. Now the first product I wanna tell you about is their Silk Filled Thermo Regulating Duvet. This is their duvet, it's double-sided. It is insanely soft, insanely cozy, and it's also like heavy despite not looking too bulky. Now the number one best thing about this is that it is thermoregulating. So it will keep you cool in the summer months and warm in the winter months. And that is a function of 10 layers of silk in here. And it's also one and a half times more moisture wicking than cotton. One other thing that I absolutely love about this is that the materials are all hypoallergenic. I just think that this is such a good product for me. You have no idea. I have been waiting for this to arrive because I just have such bad allergies. I sweat throughout the night. It's just not that pleasant of an experience. So this is like a dream for me. It feels so good. I can't even describe it any better than that. So cozy, so cozy. 
Oh, and did I mention that it comes with this amazing basket? This is like probably the best packaging I've ever seen a product come in. And that kind of continues on into their duvet covers. Now, if you like soft things, this duvet cover is the duvet cover for you. I didn't get this for myself. I got this for my mom, but this is their bamboo duvet cover. And it is the softest thing ever. I want this for myself so badly. Extremely soft, extremely comfortable. It also is very, very breathable, which is something you definitely want. I think this combined with the duvet is the perfect combination. Even for the buttons, they used coconut shells for the buttons. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Vesta is offering sales all season long. So if you'd like to purchase your own duvet or duvet cover, they also also have silk pillowcases, really well-engineered pillows, etc. You can click the link and save on your purchase. And I am just really thankful to have them as a partner. And I'm really, really thankful to have their products and to be able to share their products with my family members as well. So thank you so much to Vesta for sponsoring this video. It's sun setting now. So I am going to go to my mom's probably for dinner, give her this duvet cover, and I will see you tomorrow morning for the next step in the coffee table. Good morning. It is such a snowy day outside today. Can I show you? Oh, you can't really see, but snow everywhere. Anyway, I am looking at the table, which is all dried now, and it looks so good. It really does look like charred wood. I don't know how to put it any other way, but it does look different than a black stain. I think if I used a black stain, it would all be like super dark and opaque, but instead, it has like a really nice color shift to it. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is put a top coat on here. So excited because I'm on the last step of this. And let's see, I started this on Friday and now it is Monday and that's pretty good for me. I mean, that's several days, but it's still pretty good. So maybe if I got like high quality brushes, this wouldn't be a thing. stunning day outside it's super sunny and there's snow on the ground and this reminds me of what the winters were like when I was a kid so I am just like a happy girl and also the coffee table is dry I'm going to move it into the living room put a few things on it and show you the final reveal you ready because I know I am Okay, a little change of plans here. <laughs> I was just going to stage the coffee table with some stuff that I had, but then I realized I didn't really have any stuff. <laughs> I decided that I would come to the thrift store, go to HomeSense, see what I can find, and if there is anything that I can find really quick. I actually just dropped off my husband at the airport because, he oh my gosh, there's so many geese. <laughs> I'll show you that in a second. Look at the little geese. Those are geese, right? Or are they ducks? What are those? Maybe they're ducks, what the heck? But they are cute. I saw these and I thought these were really cute and I was trying to decide between this brown one and the ivory one because they're both nice and then I realized they're all attached and there's four of them. Should I get them? So I picked out a couple different books that I thought were interesting and I'm gonna get them. The 
This is a little insanity, even for me, but it's okay. Wow, okay. So it is also freezing out and I'm done. I just loaded everything into the car and I just want to take a moment to remember this. I haven't shared this before, but I have really bad social anxiety, so I don't like going places by myself. And this is only the second time that I've been out to like a store by myself in like probably three months. And it gave me a lot of anxiety to have so much stuff in my cart. I like couldn't even see the end of my cart. I didn't know how I was gonna carry everything out because um, there were no bags and I got it all done and I'm just so like it's packed in there But I'm just so proud of myself for doing this and for just being good <sighs> Okay, now let's take it home and Do the reveal <laughs> I'm back and I set some stuff up and I'm so excited to show you I'm gonna show you right now Let me flip you around for the reveal Are you ready? Here is my coffee table. I cannot believe that I made such a stunning piece. It was so easy to make. It's perfectly customized to my space. The profile is super low and just like exactly what I wanted. I just absolutely love it. You guys, I am obsessed with this coffee table. I can't believe how easy it was to make. It literally was so easy. It's so perfect for my space. It's exactly what I wanted. This was just such a nice project to work on. Custom design, custom made, made from scratch. I love it. So I really enjoyed this. I hope that you did too. So usually I would say that I will see you in next week's episode of Homemade Happy. However, I am not going to be posting for the next two weeks. So the final two weeks of December, I will be back the first week of January. And that is going to be my gigantic dining room artwork that I'm gonna work on next. Now, I wish I could say that I was actually taking this time off. Uh, to fully take a break, but I'm not. I'm actually not gonna be posting so that I can catch up because I've been like finishing and uploading my videos like right before posting them. And I like to be a couple videos ahead just so that I feel less stressed. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I hope that you can understand just for my own mental health. That's what will be good for me. I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Homemade Happy, the first week of January. I hope you have a great holiday season. I hope you have an awesome new year. I just am so thankful for you. You have no idea. You've literally made my dreams come true. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Like I mentioned, the first week of January. Love you so much. Love you so much. Honestly, you're the best. Bye.